Today we're gonna present the oral presentation and learning resource about Hungry Jacks. Here's my partner, Zi Yu Wang and, and Yu Xiang Zhang. So Hungry Jack is a franchise of the International Burger King Corporation and has operated in Australia since 1971. When Burger King went to expand its operation into Australia, they found that the name Burger King had already been trademarked by the takeaway food shop in Adelaide. The name Hungry Jack was chosen by Australian franchise Jack Cowell from a list of alternative names derived from pre-existing trademark already registered by Burger King, which was their corporate company at the time. So I would like to talk about the primary purposes of Hungry Jacks. So there are main pop, uh, primary pop, uh, purposes of Hungry Jacks. Respectfully, it's com commitment to food and commitment to people. Another one is commitment to the environment. So firstly, I would like to talk about the commitment to food. So the commitment to food is to provide detailed nutrition information to the guests so they can make informed meal choices. So Hungry Jacks recognize that they will always be additional steps that they can take to enhance the menu options and satisfy the guests. So they product innovation teams are constantly working to develop new options that provide a variety of great tasting good while meeting, uh, meeting the guests in whom lifestyle needs. So there are three, uh, three basic business types which are sole proprietorship, partnership and cooperation. A corporation is a business organization that has a separate legend personality from its owner. Ownership in a stock corporation is represented by share of stock. The owner enjoy a limited liability but have limited involvement in the company's operation. The board of director and elastic group from the stockholder control the activity of the corporation. It is a wholly owned a subsidiary of Compe Competitive Food Australia, a privately held company owned by Jack Cowan. So, as you mentioned, all this is small, medium, or large business. So, Hungry Jacks is a large business. It's a typical large business. Hungry Jacks is hold in Australia master franchise from Burger King worldwide and has been a fixture on Australia business landscape for more than 40 years. So it around 400 restaurants nationally and more than 600,000 Australia employees. So large business, large business, uh, just like Hungry Jacks, is a major employer and is from the more than 600,000 uh, Australian begin their working life with a job at Hungry Jacks. Around 50% of Hungry Jacks restaurants are owned and operated by independent franchises. Many of them family owned operations that have been in business for decades. The role of accountants in business. I would like to pass it to my partner, please. Okay. Management accounting plays a key role in helping manage manager to carry out their responsibility. And financial accounting uh, various information to individual and group, both inside and outside, to uh, outside the organization to help them assess the firm's financial performance. This uh, financial reports, including the income statement, the balance sheet, and the sheet of cash flows, summarize a company's past performance and innovate its financial health. Hungry Jack is Australia's most successfully uh, privately owned quick service restaurant network. Being privately owned allows the company to be more flexible and innovative to respond to customers' needs swiftly. 
So lastly, I would like to talk about the uh, accounting terms related to our topic and returns, especially for reporting entries, a uh, reporting entity. So the following factors may provide an indication that an entity is a reporting entity. So the firstly, the separation of management from economic interest, and the secondly, is economic or political importance or influence, and the last one is financial inheritances. The reporting entity should prepare a general purpose financial report, which called GPFR, which is fully compliant with our AAS, which stands for Australian Accounting System. Non-reporting entities can prepare a special purpose financial report, which calls STFR, which is less than full compliance with Australian accounting standards. The doctrine of conservatism. The conservatism principle is the general concept of recognizing expenses and liabilities as soon as possible when there is uncertainty about the outcome. But to only recognize revenues and assets when they are assured of being received. The conservatism principle is the foundation of the lower cost or market view, which states that you should record inventory at the lower of either its accessories or concentration costs or its current market value. Also, the doctrine of conservatism, the principle runs counter to needs of taxing authorities. Since the amount of taxable income reported tends to be lower when this concept is actively imposed, the result is less reported tax taxable income and therefore the lower tax received. The conservatism principle is only a guideline for accounting management system. Thank you for all listening.